It's good to see you guys. Um, you know, disappointed, frustrated, uh, upset. I thought that to start the game, there was some good uh, focus and energy. I thought that um, offensively, we were able to move the ball some. I thought defensively, there was a uh, um, there was some uh, composure and um, consistency in stopping the run. And I think that's been uh, that has been an issue. And I thought in the interior run, we were able to, to really hone in on it and stop it. Uh, and I thought once the um, uh, third downs started to hit us, you know, and typically you get to third and 10 plus its advantage for the defense. And this, it was completely the opposite in this game. And uh, I think that's really kind of the story of the game. And our inability to, um, to stop them on third down just opened up uh, a bunch of problems for us. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very hurtful. Take any questions you guys got. They, I mean, you hit on it. They, they don't end up even punting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's missed tackles, receivers running open, mm -hmm. and shit, those kind of mistakes be happening 11 games into the season? No, they shouldn't be. I, you know, there was, um, you know, there was one uh, big game that was a cover two, and it was an eight-yard stop by a receiver, and... That shouldn't be happening, you know. Um, the other was a two-man, and uh, four was pushing past three, and so three was the new four, and our eyes lost it. And so, um, you know, a lot of those are just inexcusable, and uh, it's hard to uh, it's hard to look at. And it's hard to uh, it's hard to walk away from. Yeah, I thought that, um, you know, uh, I thought that the ability to move the ball in the middle of the field um, or through the middle of the field was um, really kind of contingent on the run game. And I thought that um, that continued to um, improve from last week to this week. And, um, you know, I think the urgency to score or the urgency to get points down there really came down to contested throws, you know, um, guys making um, um, making yards after catch, and we just failed to accomplish both of those things. I think there was times where um, we had the opportunity to make a throw with a guy draped over us, and we, or make a catch rather, and we didn't do it. And then there was times where we, um, we caught a ball and there's a defender right there and it's a bang bang play and you know, it's a, a fourth and three or a fourth and four instead of a first down. Dave, was that a reverse call? On the that was. Yeah, that was. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, that's that's something that's that's been uh, a real successful play in the past and was kind of a gutsy call in that time. But I mean, that's generally when it works the best. And there's just no execution with it. What do you think after that call? Yeah, I think anytime you are are dealing with losses, you're dealing with uh, failure. Is that the challenge is always to not let you know the past be predictive of the future, and so you deal with you deal with that. And so I think that was a, I think everyone could kind of feel the momentum of that drive, and everybody really was counting on getting points with that drive. And so when we did not it was a lot to kind of come back from. And I thought the guys were able to fight and still continue to, um, to make efforts to, um, uh, to get points, but I think that was a factor in the game. Yes, the execution issues pile up mm -hmm. the game, is, mm -hmm. are you starting to press too much? Or I think so. Yeah, I think that's always the case, is when uh, things are not working, uh, then there's guys that are given really great effort and trying and care so much and are, are probably still crying in that locker room. And so then they start to uh, try to take it into their own hands, and then the, the problems compound, you know. And so there was definitely some of that, especially on defense today. Blake obviously went down late. Is he okay? And then how do you kind of assess his play today? Yeah, I thought, I thought Blake... Um, play tough. I thought that, uh, you know, there were some throws early in the game 
uh, that were right on point, and I think they hit uh, guys in the chest, and they would have been big plays. And going in the game, that was a huge factor in the game, or a huge goal in the game, rather, is to make uh, those throws and to make those catches. And you know, there was a lot of zero coverage, and we wanted to attack that. And, you know, um, when uh, defensively and third downs and all of it kind of hit, we were taken out of that, um, unfortunately. And so, I thought with with even the, even with those drops, I mean, Blake was was uh, was fighting. There's times where he has to scramble, and he's making uh, first downs and he's making uh, uh, making yards that, that uh, put us in uh, manageable third downs. And so I thought he competed, you know, uh, way, uh, competed really strong. So I, I just saw him. I was just talking to him, um, and he's frustrated and sad, disappointed like the rest of us. He had a bunch of guys around him, and so uh, you know they were uh, checking in on him and, and uh, letting them know what they think of him. And so uh, he's going to get looked at, and so we'll know kind of what the, what becomes of him. I think they're looking at his head, but they're looking at his chest as well. Yeah. Dave, was there anything else you did differently? They'll stop them on those first two drives, and they just seem like they kind of got a goal. Yeah, there's a lot of formation into the sideline, and then motion, um, and um, whether it would be one or two guys back to the field, and so, and then in in that, then um, a lot of switch routes, um, either into the boundary. Or if they motion back to the field, the new passing strength switch routes there. And I think we lost our eyes quite a bit in in, in all of that. And so we went from uh, playing some match coverages to then zone coverages. Um, you know, I, we brought up the third and nine uh, or the third and eight that they sat right it down. They sat right down in front of our defender, and so um, it got to the point to whatever the answer was, uh, their answer was better. Senior day, last home game. Yeah, um, another opportunity to compete. You know, our um, our opportunity to play four quarters of our style of football is still out there. I think there's so many guys that have just, um, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. I don't know how else to say it. And uh, when you walk around that locker room, you see it, you know. And so I know for them it just means so much. And, and uh, you know, you walk around with just all of this, um, you know, inside of you, you want to find a way to kind of get it out and you want to find a way to not live with it anymore. And so this game represents that for us. And so we need to be way hungry, way motivated, uh, way focused, and uh, way together. And it's going to take that. We're playing a really good team. Thanks, you all. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks,